In the past 500 years or so, we have already caused 1,000 animal species to go extinct. As of today, the ones that are still currently alive, we have already hunted, we have already killed off 1.2 million animals to this date. Pretty alarming number. I think maybe regarded as a pretty popular leisure activity, where, where, where people usually go out and hunt deer or bear for maybe bear skin or deer, or deer meat. However, after, after, lis after, after listening to all these dangers and threats that it poses to our humanity and our species in general, I'm hoping to persuade you to, to for afraid to think that it's not such a leisure, that hunting is not such a leisurely activity after all, and that's actually pretty dangerous. So, I watched a documentary called Racing Extinction. You might, you might have heard of it, but I'm not sure if all of you have. It's basically this, the, the show, or not really a show, but it, a, a, a bunch of experts. They show how people engage in an illegal hunting activity, selling these endangered animals to consumers for either consumption, mod, like modification, clothing, etc. And it's really sad because through, with all this lumped together, combined with the effects that climate change is having on our ecosystem, in the next 100 years, there's the possibility that we might, we might lose 50% of all animal species on this planet. It's pretty scary because considering that, we won't be able to see all these beautiful animals, that these wonderful creatures anymore, because of our own ignorance and carelessness. <coughs> so, why exactly is hunting so bad anyways? But how, like, how am I, who am I to try to change your mind? Who, some of you might already be, be active hunters who love going hunting, and, 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 you, actually, and you might actually enjoy it. So who am I to say that I am holier than thou, and, and that you should stop immediately, or else you're going to murder everyone on this planet? Well, I'm not trying to be, I'm not trying to be preachy here, but I just want to try to warn against, warn against overhunting in general, and taking it to an extreme. For example, for, for several years we have, we have done many advertisements, commercials, slash campaigns against the dangers of littering and how garbage, garbage around our environment is going to lead to the pollution of oceans and, and harming the animals surrounding us. However, it, it, it usually doesn't matter where you are, but you can just simply walk outside and you can already still see tons of litter littering the, all, the, scattered all over the grass on the streets, or usually at bus stops, sidewalks. So it seems to me that even though we've tried to take these large measures across electronic media, the media keyword, people seem to be ignoring this and continuing on with, with polluting the grounds with their trash, as if they don't care that animals are dying, or maybe they're too ignorant to know that it's causing all these animals to die. Which means that we have to try to take these. We have to try to take these measures outside of media, because some people might not have access to it. Maybe perhaps at a public presentation, not a public presentation at a university, because the people who don't have access to media, they're likely not. They're likely like not able to go go great lengths to travel to these giant college universities. But maybe at the public, at a town square, or maybe at a, some kind of perhaps even by the sidewalk, then we could try to enlighten these people about the dangers of both littering and how hunting can affect the environment so, so that we can try to lessen this impact. Moving away from littering, I wanted to talk about <clears throat> how it's not just hunting that causes the endangerment of animals. It also has... Climate change is also a great variable that plays into this. For with climate change, all of the carbon dioxide going into the atmosphere, it's also it's also causing this effect on ocean acidification, where it's causing the pH levels of oceans to rise, <coughs> or maybe not the pH level, but it's causing the oceans to be more acidic, which is also dam is damaging the that this acidity is causing many lives, many wildlife down under under the water, to become damaged. Especially the corals and reefs, whereas 
Whereas this is a vacation that promotes algae, which, smoth, which actually smothers the reefs, the corals, which causes them to be bleached or loses all color, pretty much means they're dead. And how coral is usually the, the main source of food and shelter for many fish that live nearby it, it also kills them off as well. So it causes this chain reaction that, that's going to cause the certain species of, of animals to die which will cause other species of animals to die, which will then snowball into this giant, maybe 30% of the population to die off. And then that leads us to the humans not getting their, their fish, their food, and then they might die off as well. And it's not just the wildlife. The climate change is also affecting like, the burning of wildfires, which, mean, which leaves a bunch of animals, not a bunch of animals <coughs> homeless, and that they're more vulnerable to, to pollutants and humans spotting them and going bang bang. So, I might be going off track, but hear me out, hear me out. The hunting that we're doing right now is causing the acceleration of this climate change and all the disastrous effects to, to accelerate and get even worse. Whereas you know, our ancestors had to hunt just to survive, now that our population has reached the billions, it's actually much more dangerous and might cause our extinction. Because since the climate change is, is already killing off all these animals, what we're doing is speeding up the process. And eventually, we're not going to have any animals left. And with, because our population is already so large, it's going to lead to scarce resources. Then it will lead to wars, people fighting over food, starvation, and, and maybe not extinction, but it will be a tragic event where maybe Hundreds of thousands of people may die to, to be, because of our carelessness to consider the environment where both littering and hunting drive, drives the destruction of all these animals. It's very sad. So, to, what, what should we do to try to combat this? So, apart from trying to educate the, those who are maybe un, un, unaware of things going on in the media because of the lack of access to it, we have to also address those who still watch, who watch the media and all the TV saying, Lettering is bad! We have to clean up after ourselves and do this and that because if we do not, it's going to kill everyone. Uh, to, to, to extreme, but like, it's going to cause all this damage to our surrounding environment. Oh no! And we have to see, like, who, like, all those people who actually cares. Maybe, like, maybe try to give some incentive. Maybe, like, maybe if we see them littering, we should, we should impose like the certain, the certain fine, but for those who litter without being caught and so that they can't be fined, maybe try to incentivize them to not do it by, say, a reward for them not littering. But perhaps maybe one way would be to, hmm, um, well, what is a good way to? If they do not litter, then, they, because most of us won't be aware what won't be around them to see them not littering, because it would be like kind of a participation trophy for not doing anything. But, but we can show them the positive effects of not littering and how it contributes to the reduction of climate change. If maybe they don't care about littering, but they're also passionate about reducing climate change as well. So that brings me to the end of my speech, and hopefully I I maybe nudge you guys in the right direction. And okay, that's all.